Hey guys, it's Derek from Force RC. Today I want to talk to you about video aerial systems antennas, uh, specifically about the race spec antennas and the dirt spec antennas. Let's get into it. So the first one I want to talk about today is the video aerial systems race spec antenna. Now, as you can see, the um, from a physical standpoint, right off the bat, you're going to notice that it is much, much shorter and much smaller than what you're going to find in a typical circular polarized antenna, such as the Duraspec or even a Immersion RC Spiralnet that you see here. It's actually from what you can see about half the size of a regular antenna standing up. Now that offers a few different advantages uh, when it comes to racing. Now this antenna was specifically designed for racing and the length of it really contributes to that because if you think about it, when you're putting it on top of a quad or pushing, putting it out the back of your racer, it's going to be one less object that's sticking up and away from your frame to say catch on a gate or get stuck in a tree or get damaged by props if it lays, you know, if it lays over towards the back. In addition to that, this antenna weighs in at a mere six grams which is considerably lighter than what you're going to find in the Duraspec line of video aerial systems um, antennas, with this one weighing in at a little over 22 grams. So you may look at this and you see all the lobes are completely exposed and wonder how durable is that actually going to be in a race setting. And Honestly, it's extremely durable. So the idea behind this is the lobes are exposed and they will bend but they are coated and they are attached to a reinforced stem here in the center. So if any of them ever bend in a race or after a crash, just simply bend them back to where their orientation was to begin with and you're ready to fly again. That same, the same thing goes through to the, um, the cord going down to your SMA connector here. This is extremely flexible. And under this heat shrink, it's actually the cable actually goes up and back down and back up to the stem of the lobes here. So if it ever bends over, all you have to do is bend it back, throw a little heat on it, and it'll be nice and secure again. Um, talking about the reinforced stem here, if you want to compare it to a Spironet antenna, if you see here, these are merely um, kind of wired up to this small little lobe stem like that and the stem here of the race spec antennas is considerably larger and coated in a lot of plastic. Moving on to the Duraspec antennas, there are some advantages, advantages to this even though the weight is considerably uh, more than what you find in the race spec. Now the Duraspec antennas are like their name says extremely extremely durable. Now the lobes in here are actually coated in a um, like a foam resin inside of this hard casing. It is larger than what you're going to find in a typical uh, right hand or even a left hand um, omni antenna, but that's to add the extra extra um, foam and the in the extra padding around those lobes. So you'll find on the video air system site and a lot of um, I'd be crazy's videos on these antennas, him smashing them with a hammer and hitting them with a crowbar and sticking them back on and still giving nearly perfect video. Uh, that's a large advantage to somebody who tends to crash a lot or somebody who has a setup where the antenna may have a tendency to fall into uh, the propellers. So advantages to both. I tend to run the race spec antennas at a race, but if I'm kind of cruising around the backyard or around some trees, I'll run the Duraspecs um, when I anticipate crashing or I'm flying in a little more harsh environment. All right, guys, so that's a general overview of these two antennas. You can find these antennas at forcerc.com, and we'll drop a link in the description of this video. So go ahead and check them out. Thanks for watching, guys.